To put clothing on the backs of a nation of 400 million, the former Soviet Union established cotton collectives along Central Asia's Amu Darya River. But after decades of hyper-concentrated cotton farming, the region is beginning to suffer the horrible consequences of its role as cotton basket to the Soviet nation. The main territory of Karakalpakstan used for uh, agriculture. During many years, the overusing of uh, pesticides exhausted the land. Arala Tanyazova is a native of the ethnically distinct, proudly independent Republic of Karakalpakstan in the northernmost plains of Uzbekistan. The Aral Sea was once one of the largest inland bodies of water in the world, but a network of Soviet-built dams and irrigation canals have drained off so much fresh water from the rivers that feed it that today the Aral is a dead sea. And the more they find out about it, the more they realize just how great the problems are. It's a world-class environmental disaster. Across once fertile farmland, dust storms now rage. Abandoned fishing boats lie in salt flats 50 miles from the receding shoreline. On this sterile landscape, laid waste by toxic chemicals, the women and children who tend family farms now find themselves at ground zero. They're uh, directly connecting with uh, pesticides, with uh, herbicides like DDT, like linden. If a conversation with a Rala Tanya Zova sounds more like one with a medical doctor than an environmentalist, that's because she's both. After working as an obstetrician in the farmlands of Karakalpakstan, she encountered health problems beyond the scope of her medical training. She began with uh, the problem of reproductive health of uh, women in the most dangerous place in Central Asia. Environment is worsening, and especially people in the rural area, they don't prepare to improve or to be responsible for their health. It's very important to give knowledge to people. Just simple information about, about health, about body, about diet, about food, about environment, water quality. Atanya Zova returned to university, where she earned a PhD for her studies in women's infertility. 20 years ago, I could find only few uh, women with disease. And now uh, we discovered um, illnesses among most of women, 90 or 100% of women. In 1992, she established Present a center for reproductive health and environment. Still a practicing physician, Dr. Atanya Zova reminds us that the tragedy of the Aral Sea is not just an environmental issue, it is very much a women's issue. Part of Present's program, when they decided to start working to set up clinics in other villages outside of Nukus, was that they set up these sort of help desks in regional clinics, and then they started to go door to door to women to see if there are any sick people in this house or any sick people in that house and to encourage women to feel more comfortable coming to specifically this health desk at this clinic where they could speak more openly about what kind of medical problems they, they had. A dozen other projects and programs operate under the present banner. A kindergarten and child care center, environmental monitoring, seminars and domestic violence. They set up a 50-acre demonstration farm where organic fruits and vegetables are grown to supplement meals at a local hospital. And therefore, someone like Oral, who is able to go from the problems of, of uh, pregnant women giving birth to deformed children or having anemia to the necessity of cleaning up the environment, to the necessity of becoming politically active, and as NGOs become more a part of everyday life, uh, the job has grown, and as the job has grown, her ability to do things with it has also grown. At times, Arala Tanyazova feels that hers is the only voice speaking to the plight of Carol Kalpak women. But it is the clearest and most forceful voice in her field. Arala Tanyazova is a candle in the darkness, shedding light and bringing warmth to the cold reality of her native land. Women should be more active, and she should encourage others to work on these issues. So maybe on this time, on this, uh, in this difficult period of our history, of our nation, women could play a key role on saving the country and saving the nation. For outstanding environmental achievement in Asia, the year 2000 Goldman Environmental Prize is awarded to Aral Atanyazova of the Republic of Karakalpakstan, Uzbekistan.